What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Wait, What Are We Talking About podcast, episode 118. My name is Brett, a.k.a. Enigma9011, and you can catch this podcast live over on twitch.tv slash Enigma9011 every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can join in the chat if you're a subscriber over there. We'd love to have you. If you can't catch it live, that's A-OK. It drops over on YouTube and podcast services at topic by topic and put as one big video in mp3 for your amusement on the following friday last but not least hashtag ad merch store get all of your swag over there t-shirts cups backpacks and more rep the brand support us it'd be greatly appreciated today we're flying solo again it might be a month full month of solo episodes hopefully you guys don't aren't what the hell hopefully you guys aren't saddened by that you're coming back to the show you shouldn't be I'm the main part, right, Moose? No, Artemis is the main part. So, anyways, we're back with another solo episode, and we're going to be talking some more wrestling as we open up today. We're going to be talking about the upcoming WWE Royal Rumble. As of recording, it is this Saturday. As of full release, it's tomorrow. Um, So, we want to talk about the Royal Rumble as it's coming up this weekend, and kind of figure out, like, talk about the match card, but also figure out what the fuck they are going to do with this Royal Rumble, because I feel like they have some troubles afoot. Um, so let's get right on into it with our match card. As of recording, there are one, two, three, six matches. Six matches planned for the event. We have... Brock Lesnar defending his WWE Championship against Bobby Lashley. We have Roman Reigns defending his Universal Champion from Seth frickin' Rollins with the Usos bared from ringside. We have Edge and Beth Phoenix versus The Miz and Maurice. We have Becky Lynch defending her Raw Women's title against Dewdrop. We have the 30-man Royal Rumble along with the 30-woman Royal Rumble. So, we got some stuff going on. We got some things to chat about. So, let's get on with the easy ones that probably don't need too much of a chatter about because I don't have too much of an opinion on. Uh, Let's talk about Edge and Beth against Miz and Maurice. Exactly, Moose. What the fuck? Why are we having this? (laughs) Um, I don't care about this match. Exactly. All disease. All disease from Papa Griff. I agree 100%. Uh, Just for momentum base sake it seems like Miz and Maurice are going to get the upper hand here would that be in bad taste with Beth making her return yes so for Beth's sake I hope they win Beth looks great I love the new hairdo but yes momentum based it would look like Miz and Maurice would win here don't care moving on to Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley um Okay, so now we start getting into the we start getting into the the thick of things where history plays a part. COVID hits, people are out. Roman says, see you bye, I got COVID too. Brock gets kicked from his match, not kicked, but is unable to do his match at the last pay-per-view or day one or whatever the fuck it was called. So, okay, Brock, we're paying you a shit ton of money. You can't do this match because Roman's out. He's, you know, got the COVID and he's got really bad health issues, at least in this kind of area. Fuck it. We paid you already. Let's throw you in this match with Big E because no one, no one cares that it's a fatal five-way now. Um, yes, Moose, no one, no one cares if Brock Lesnar's in this match. We're already paying him money. But guess what? We're going to have him win the fucking thing because money. We paid him money. So we got Brock with a title he's not even supposed to have if everything in history was going normal. All right. We're just going to fuck over Big E, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins. I forgot the other guy in the match. It's probably Lashley. All right. So he's got a title he's not supposed to even have. Let's put him against Lashley. Okay. Makes sense. Dream match for some. MMA versus MMA. Bellator versus UFC. Whatever fucking company Lashley fought for. I don't remember. Okay. I get it. Not for me. So my bold prediction. Bold prediction on this one. 
Lesnar retains, and this will set up a big E redemption arc for Mania. Please, please let that be true. Let that be true. Let Big E re, uh, redeem himself from, you know, the stupid Brock being added to the match. Redeem Kofi for losing the title in, what, 20 seconds? Redeem Xavier because, I don't know, nothing happened between him and Brock yet, but I'm sure there's reasons. Let's set that up. If that's the setup and that's the payoff, fine. I'll live with it. I'm going to live with it regardless because I don't... WWE's not going to listen to me. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Um, but if that's the payoff, okay. But this match, I'm not interested in. Not that Bobby can't work. Not that Lashley... Or, sorry, Brett Lesnar can't work. No, of course not. We all know how we all... Well, how I feel about Lesnar. It's just not interesting to me. So, bleh. Anyways, next, Reigns and Rollins. Can these two put on a good match? Yes. Have we seen it a hundred times? Yes. Is that why I don't care? Yes. <laughs> I don't give a shit about this one either. Usos barred from the ringside. Big deal. <laughs> I think this is the best Reigns has been ever, or at least the most interesting. But you can't have it just all shit the bed because Seth came into the picture. That would be the dumbest pay... Well, no, they've had some pretty dumb payoffs in WWE history. That would be one of the worst. <laughs> you had him, head of the table, 500-day reign as champion. He just passed Lesnar, I think, of all time. And then Seth comes in and wins it? No, that's dumb. No, you got to save Le uh, Reigns finally losing to somebody. Obviously, we, everybody keeps saying The Rock. Dwayne just signed with the UFC. I don't know what his deal is, but whatever. Reigns is retaining. All right. Now we get into the more interesting stuff here. Becky versus Piper Nevin. Oh, sorry, Dewdrop. Stupid. Why did she not go back to her other name? Eva Marie's not even in the company anymore. Um, I'm excited that Piper's getting this opportunity. Great. I'm excited that she has gotten the usage on the main roster compared to a lot of unfortunate call-ups from the NXT brand. Psyched that she's getting opportunities like this. Do I think she's going to win? No. But I think this is a step in the right direction for her to continue showing what she can do, um, especially at a pay-per-view level. Usually, I mean, it's a big four. More eyes are going to be tuned into it that may not watch week to week. Um, so excited for her to do what she does best. And, you know, hopefully Becky's now back in the rhythm of things that she can uh, be a good dance partner for Piper with that and also, you know, elevate her uh, to the best of her ability. So, once again, no. Becky will retain, uh, I think Papa Griff said it earlier, no title changes. So, that, yeah, that's all the three titles staying right where they are. Um, so, now we got the Rumbles. As of recording, let's see if they have photos here. That seems like an old photo. As of recording, let's start with the ladies. At least at the image I'm looking at here, we have 4, 8, 11, 14, 16, 17, 18. We have 21. 21 women confirmed. So we have nine spots open for this rumble. Obviously, we've already been kind of spoiled on some surprises with Lita, Summer Rae, Bella Bella, Michelle McCool, and the biggest surprise, to be honest, Mickey James. Mickey's obviously currently signed with Impact Wrestling. They're Knockouts Champion. Now we got a crossover there. Awesome. Awesome that they're doing this. You know, obviously WWE doesn't really like talking about other companies. Will this lead to anything? No, probably not, but still cool to see. Can you imagine how this would have broken the internet 
if this was kept hush hush and she showed up that would have been insane but i get it trying to sell tickets or pay-per-view buys and you're also doing the little cross promotion with impact they want to get something out of this deal so having her name to mention more and obviously the knockouts title mentioned more hopefully elevates impact now we got nine spots here now my question what's the status of the women's roster because rumors going around say that uh, some offers have been made to some formerly employed superstars to have a spot in the rumble uh the only one i've seen name wise is the iconics billy k peyton royce now jessica McKay, jessica mckay and cassie lee i'm sorry um offers were made to them they said no so good for them i wonder if anybody else has been asked now as for people who have been in rumbles in the past uh, let's see who's not over here oh i think kelly kelly is in there in the image too sorry my bad so i'm trying to think of women who have been in on a legend thing that could show up or have like have showed up but aren't here molly holly is one she's been in all of them i think ah <sighs> victoria has trish been in one i think she has um who else i guess beth could pull double duty she could be in there right okay trish wasn't there um I'm blanking, but I think those are the big ones. Okay, so that'd be four spots. Uh, Papa Griff mentions in chat, Asuka or Bailey return. Um, I could definitely see that. I don't know what's up with Asuka, to be honest. I know she's hurt. I don't know the state of her injury. Bailey as well, I don't know the status of, but I think she's closer to a comeback than in general. Um, so I'd love to see that. Um love to see either one or both of them return um let's see so as of the remainder of the woman's roster let's see who we have can i sir no i can't okay we got alexa bliss she's doing vignettes we have oh boy a bunch of nxt ladies i don't know because nxt 2.0 <sighs> Kyrie, I think Kyrie's um, contract for overseas stuff is actually coming to an end as well, or already ended. So while I would love that, that's probably a no. Candace is out because she's pregnant. Cora Jade could show. Dakota, Kai, I think is more on the positive side. She's been in the past. Uh, let's see. Gigi Dolan's a tag champ. Indy Hartwell. Io Shirai. I'd love for Shirai to show up again. JC Jane. Na, 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 na. Kat Zaro. Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray would be good. Caden Carter. Lacey Evans. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Does Lacey Evans make a return? Has she had her baby yet? Ooh, I hope not. Sunny from jail. <laughs> yep. Mandy Rose would make sense. She's NXT Women's Champion. Um, do, do, do. Always the rumor about Paige. I don't know the status of her neck, concussion, head, whatever. I think a big one that makes perfect sense and maybe the time to kind of elevate her to the main roster would be Raquel Gonzalez. I don't think she's been in a rumble before. This could be a good opportunity for her to come up, maybe put her against a Rhea. Obviously, they've worked together in the past. So there's a little history. You do the stare down. They're both similar size. You know, looks intimidating. And then, yeah, they can, they can do some stuff there together. Santina. God, I hope not. <laughs> 
So Ray's got a whole new gimmick. Sasha's out for like four to eight weeks. So that's a no. Uh, let's see. Sonya enter herself. Doubt it. I think. I like how vacant is a, a roster space. They literally did that. Uh, I don't think Xia was in the picture. Another one I would love, but I don't know also her injury status, is Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark from NXT, she hasn't been in a Rumble before. She's really good. I'd like to see her in, but I don't know. So if we count the four legends that we did before, we got five spots left. So they're not in as bad shape as I thought roster-wise where they were like mm. but then again wwe's been making apparently like i said these offers to people to be in it obviously mickey deal that worked out iconics no so it's like why why do they feel the need to reach out to the outside talent because once again wwe doesn't do this where they you know cross promote reach out acknowledge etc etc so like something must be up so maybe these returns that we're talking about whether it's a, a lacy a bailey an oscar maybe they're not ready and they need also to fill those well i mean it's the same spots but maybe they don't have those reliable talents uh to fill those spots like they thought they would um it's just an interesting thing to think about like why <clears throat> obviously the releases over this past year have been kind of sporadic and there's been a lot of them but they've been pretty regular um why do they feel in such a pigeonhole i guess you could say for like oh shit we need to fill 30 um so that that that'd be curious i i don't know there is one more rumor I read today of a big return. I know Papa Griff wouldn't be a fan of it. I'd, I'm iffy about it. There's rumors of a Ronda return. Once again, that's happened before, though. So, mm -hmm. um, It would definitely be surprising. But yeah, I don't know if I'd want that just because of thinking of matchups um there's definitely some interesting matchups but i don't want the people who have been built up to these places to just get overshadowed and forgotten about i mentioned piper we got a lot of good things going for her in this moment uh during this time bianca's obviously you know ha been on a rise until that stupid becky 18 seconds bullshit at SummerSlam um like we built up some ladies i'd like to keep that momentum behind them um and if ronda comes into play not that a dream match between like a bianca and ronda wouldn't be cool it's just like obviously all the spotlight's gonna go on ronda so do the rest of these just kind of fall apart and like oh yeah remember when you were a thing Ooh. so that would be my only negative really for ronda i guess I'm not a big fan of her like I have nothing against her but like I wouldn't be like oh my god she's back just more of like oh shit it's something that happened count one broken tv right <laughs> so I don't know um so yeah the women's rumble is interesting just for the fact of those nine spots once again if this image isn't the most up to date then I apologize um but it's going to be curious to see who fills out those nine spots. Um, I, If we're talking surprise entrants that have no history, personally, I'd love to see Swole here. Um, I know we talked about Big Swole last Steve was on the podcast. And Steve's kind of like 50-50 on Swole or didn't really seem behind her. Um, I think that'd be awesome. Do I think that would actually happen? probably not swole's kind of had some very strong opinions on wwe been like eh, don't like how you're running that thing uh you broke up the hurt business blah 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 
Obviously, her husband is there with Cedric Alexander, so maybe, maybe you could grease the wheels. Um, but I think that would be cool. But I don't know the likelihood of that happening. Um, as for other talents, um, if they were, I don't know if they're only expanding the Olive Branch out to impact. I think Mickey makes sense to kind of, once again, literal Olive Branch. For how she left with Mark Carano and all that jazz, this is kind of a way to kind of apologize, play ball, and be like, hey, this was fucked up. Do you want to be in this? Obviously, we'll pay you money. <laughs> but then you can promote where you are currently, like, you know, kind of making up for that shitty situation. If it's just that, okay, makes sense. So move on carry on stool still a cool thing that we don't see from wwe obviously with the the cross promotion between brands or sorry between companies so is what it is do i have a definitive winner or choice from this rumble ah oh, boy i definitely don't want it to be charlotte <laughs> i i Unification of the belts makes sense some in a way just because of roster size. Once again, we're struggling with 30. But then again, it kind of gives less opportunities. You have this and you have the women's tag belts. I think unification makes sense if you are then going to focus on your tag division more for the ladies. That makes sense. But if you don't have the focus grow there then hmm still don't understand why charlotte is in it why isn't she defending that's a very good question very good question they had no explanation for it she just declared herself in the rumble just like everybody else so that's i don't know that's a great question that's a great question of why that is the case um <clears throat> excuse me so We'll have to see how that plays out. Maybe, I know they're kind of doing the Naomi and Charlotte kind of storyline a little bit over on SmackDown. So maybe they will scuffle together here. Maybe Naomi will be the one to throw out Charlotte, and that will lead to that. And then the winner of that, this, will lead to the Raw Women's Belt. So out of the people that I want to win. Ah... <sighs> Bianca won last year, and that was great. I wouldn't be upset with her winning again, doing a back-to-back. -back, that'd be kind of cool. I'm a big fan of Rhea, so I'd want, could want Rhea to win, but then again, she also had her mania moment last year. I don't think Liv's ready. We're building, but I don't think she's ready. Naomi would be cool. Because then that could also follow up the argument of going after Charlotte. Shayna. Shayna would, yes. Shayna definitely needs something. Something to get out of her her out of that six foot, seven foot, eight foot grave. They dug her. Yeah. Yeah, Shayna would be a good call to get her back on the right, the right footing. Um, hmm. Now, okay, hypotheticals. Ronda returns. Doesn't win here, but is back. I don't. I hope she doesn't do the thing where she <laughs> shits on the the winner of the women's rumble by making her return or appearance after the thing. But would you rather see a Shayna versus Becky or a Shayna versus Ronda? That could be something interesting to play with. Naomi already had her mania moment. That's true. I just, like, even just put her back in that spot. Like, I don't, well, once again, shared feeling about Charlotte. Like, she's really good. I don't like her character. Duh. She's a heel. But, like, have her win the Rumble, go to mania, unfortunately lose at mania. I'd be okay with that. I don't know. 
it's tough. There's nobody that, like, stands out from this image. Shayna's probably the only one, like you mentioned. But how she's been booked the last couple years doesn't look great. Sure, Shayna versus Charlotte. Okay. All right. That'd be good. Like, I'm looking at a bunch of people like Shotzi. No momentum. No momentum. No build. Liv's not ready. Natalia, historically, yeah, she's been there a long time and does the work well, but, like, not interesting. Rhea had a moment last year. Bianca had a moment last year. Aaliyah's got nothing going for her. No offense. Dana, nope. Nikki A.S.H., nope. Naomi makes sense. Right, which is why she needs this. Yeah, exactly. This would put Shayna back on the right track like they did originally when she did that ass whooping in the elimination chamber but no and then obviously you got all the returning ladies no i doubt they're gonna do anything i just want mickey to do more than in and out like give her some time tamina come on no zelina carmella no <laughs> so yeah if Alexa returns, <laughs> returns and wins, that's poop. Same with Bailey, same with Asuka. See, I'd be fine with a Bailey win. Asuka obviously has the history of winning the first one. What about Kylie Ray? Kylie Ray signed a GCW. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Speaking of GCW, good on you guys. Good on you guys. That GCW of the World event looked like it was really impressive. Kind of tempted to buy the replay. Good on you. A lot of word, a lot of hype about the event, selling out the Hammerstein Ballroom. Good job. Good on you. So, yeah, I think Kylie Ray is uh, signed for GCW. Candice Ray, Mrs. Gargano possible? No, she's she's pregnant. Um, I think she's, ooh, later half of her pregnancy, but no, no. Still signed, but, yeah, she's out. Um, yeah, so Bailey win, I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that because I think people like Bailey, even though she is technically playing at heel. So having her go against maybe a Charlotte, that'd be good. What's the UK girl's name? Uh, there's uh, one second. Kaylee Ray. Oh, okay. Not Kylie Ray. Yeah, Kaylee Ray. Yeah, Kaylee Ray. I'd be down. She's great. She's great. I think she was in last year's Rumble. Um, but yeah, she's she's good. I'd like to see her pop up. I don't know if she'd win, but she's good. Uh, and then who else we got in there? I think we got a uh, Blair Davenport's another one. You know it would be cool? Not that she'd win the thing, but just a little bit of like, hey, UK people, have the women's champ. Have a... Uh, I might say this wrong. Maiko Satamura. Have her show up. Just show up. Doesn't have to do much. Be in there for a few minutes. You met that one. Okay, no worries, no worries. Have her show up. Like I said, a little hey, NXT UK plug. Go from there. I think she, she's wrestled for years. Give, give them a, a little shout out there. All right, so final, final, final prediction for women's winners i'm gonna steal off papa griff i'm gonna say Shayna is who i want and then bailey's a backup so there's my two picks is that cheating yes do i care no <laughs> so there's my two let's move it over to the men's rumble side now this image totally does look uh <laughs> dated so let me see if i can find a newer one uh no i don't care about nxt 2.0 tonight oops did i say that out loud <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. so the men's rumble do we get any fun surprises in the men's rumble like the women's rumble We'll have to see as of this recording in the current image we have one two three four 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22! 22, 22 confirmed for the men's rumble, including one Johnny Knoxville. 
Yes. The Jackass. <laughs> a little money promo or movie promotion, whatever. All right, we'll just do a thing with Zane. Get in, get out. So confirmed, we have Knoxville, Zane, Mysterio, Mysterio, uh, Theory, Gable, Otis, Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, Kofi, Madcap, Moss, uh, Baron Corbin, Sheamus. Damian Priest, Big E, Riddle, RKO, uh, Dolph, Bobby Roode, Omos, Owens, and AJ. So no Walter, or as he's now called Gunther, because fuck it. <sighs> Why ruin something perfect? Why? Because fucking NXT 2.0, dog. All right, anyways, so no, no, uh... I don't know if Gunther <laughs> will make an appearance. Would I love for it? Yes, but not as Gunther. Um, hmm. So, who do we have here? Gotta be almost. I hate it. I know. Almost is not ready. Swiss is not in this photo. I don't know if Cesaro is hurt. Or what? To be honest, I haven't heard about Swiss in so long. Uh, I doubt they have like an injury list, right? Let me use the search bar here. Search for superstars. Says, uh, oh, sign in. I'm not signing. This crap. Get out of here. Cesaro. So no, Swiss Superman is not currently in the photo. Uh, you give me literally no information on your page, WWE. Thanks. Um, so that could be a mystery spot. That would be one I'm down with. Um... No Viking Raiders, so they could fill in a spot. Woods is out with an injury. R.I.P. Um, so how come no Dragon and Legends for Dudes Rumble? We could. Definitely could. Um, once again, I think the Mickey thing... The Mickey thing makes sense. Why would you announce that? advertising for impact part of the deal very questionable on the rest mccool kelly kelly summer ray whoever else that's a weird one to announce because like those are supposed to be your surprises so then it makes you think about the other ones you know like it's got to be something pretty big if you're not announcing those surprises potentially but then you announce those ones so that's a whole thing but so for the men's, Nick Gage, yeah, no, <laughs> he is, he is, uh, he is, he would, he would fight Brock, but no, I don't think Gage is making it in. There's been rumors of uh, a moose, and no, I'm not talking about the Artemis making it into the Rumble. That'd be kind of cool, um, but you can't have him win it unless this is some kind of expanded deal, um. And then he goes against Reigns, but then, you know, obviously Reigns still wins. Um, Sammy, if, if, if we're sharing with Impact, Callahan would be cool because he does have the history with WWE, formerly known as Solomon Crow in NXT. That'd be cool. Um, I don't know what kind of reaction he would get. Obviously, the IWC, the internet wrestling community, and those of us who are really versed in, like, other promotions and, like, talent knowing them um you know we would care but would a live audience care from a generic wwe fan level e i don't know i don't know but then again you could look back to 2016 and be like oh look at aj styles six years ago making his appearance for the first time 
that was huge do i remember how they reacted at the rumble i feel like they reacted well so that that you know maybe <laughs> um my only thing is obviously he didn't have time on the main roster not that aj obviously had any time in wwe before that before like or other than like velocity or whatever the hell it was um and the dark matches but uh, i don't know i don't know that's that would be an interesting one um you know just for the fuck of it let's get breeze back in just get breeze back in for, for appearance uh that'd be that's too <laughs> too high of a hope um hmm who could show up for the dudes if swiss whatever swiss's status is him coming back great i'm trying to think of guys who have been hurt that have been out for a while is there anybody that stands out obviously cena's been out but i don't think he would show here i don't think unless we need a real ace in the hole i suppose um you could get a champa you could get a dunn dunn's been in the rumble before champa as far as i know has not so that would be cool both have had dark matches on smackdown for the past couple weeks um so maybe their main roster call is soon and this could be the ticket to the you know ticket in goldberg is kind of obviously is obvious i god i hope not i think he only has one or two more matches left in his current deal so would you blow that on a rumble and then like does this set something up for mania and if so then who because you gotta assume like goldberg comes in ah i'm goldberg i blow out smoke from fireworks run in spear spear jackhammer thrown out who's throwing them out is it biggie throwing them out are we getting two big meaty men slapping meat finally from those two guys at mania mm -hmm. doesn't really make sense biggie's a face but eh, i don't know but that messes with who i want to win i want big e to win here <laughs> to then go back for brock kind of get that ticket back and also i think you know go for that oh yeah he's got a little history with riddle that's true that's true and then orton could help out with rk bro stuff I'm surprised they stayed healthy as a tag team this whole time. There was no turn, double cross. Um, hmm. <sighs> Who else could show up? There's been rumors, and this is, you know, many a dirt sheet, so take anything and everything with a grain of salt, about Moxley. Moxley making a return here. Now, normally I'd say baloney, BS, not happening. Two reasons I can think this could happen. One, he was just mentioned in a promo from Rollins on SmackDown. I think even using the Moxley vernacular and name. That's interesting. Why would we do that? Two, is this good favor for the whole recovery thing with moxley i think wwe took care of all of that ye uh would be cool but i really doubt it you think jericho over moxley that'd be another one that'd be another one like oh shit moment because jericho obviously has already done the broken skull session with uh stone cold duh it's a legend status maybe maybe the, the, the biggest thing to me is the name drop on smackdown like not ambrose moxley like was that a fuck up from seth is this just being respectful or his current gimmick like that just is like big red flag for me like hello why did we say that if like 
nothing comes out of it. Like, why promote them without needing to promote them? We already cut Dean from the footage of the vignettes, I think. I don't know. Why name drop him? That seems odd. But I, I would understand the Jericho thing. I would understand. Um... Cody's a free agent. Fuck it. Have Cody in there. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, if you have an AEW guy, they have to mess with Knoxville and get tossed. That would be interesting. Hey, we'll give you all this money, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if AEW would go for that. <laughs> Marco Stunt in there. I think they're letting his contract go. I'm not sure if you've read updates on that. Him and Cage and uh, Leo you mentioned earlier. I think there may be one or two more. Marco, I don't know. He did, he did just show up at the GCW event this past weekend. And he was helping out. Um, oh, shit. Who was he helping out? Who was Cardona against? I think he helped out him. Um, but hmm. Jelly is getting released. Jelly. Oh, Joey Janela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Janela. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he would show, but yeah, he's getting released. I'm. He, he also competed in the fucking GCW event, and X Pac came to help him. So that was interesting. Does X-Pac make a return here? He said he was cleared for wrestling, and now obviously he's showing up in the GCW thing. <sighs> you would think the AEW guys have, have, don't have non-competes. Yes, they can. Yeah, that's true, because they can all take independent bookings and dates as long as, like, AEW dates take precedent. I think they're fine to do whatever they want. Obviously, Moxley's done things in japan things in gcw you know impact uh never mind nobody in impact but um we've seen talents hop around and do shows uh, of all sorts of scales um i don't know if you watch it but evil uno still does indie shows all the time very very small scale uh at the local level that he'll go do um so yeah and obviously like thunder rosa She's doing stuff over with her own company, the the ladies, um, Mission Pro. So yeah, no, I have the I know I'm I'm sure they, you know, have that open availability. I just don't know if something like this, where it's a national brand, like that would at least have to be a discussion with Tony. Like, hey, <laughs> Are you fine with this? That's a big one. Now, I'm seeing something in this imagery here that makes me a little concerned. Is the Rumble in St. Louis? If so, isn't that Orton's hometown? Don't have this man win a number, another fucking Royal Rumble, please. Oh, that would be the worst. It is. St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri! Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. That'd be ass. Um, alright. I can't think of too many legends that, like, show up here. Does, like, a Jeff Jarrett show up because he was recently on fucking Raw or SmackDown? Okay. That just spurred a thing. Does Elias make his return in whatever new gimmick he's got going on? To not sing? Hmm thinking a bit cody does make a lot of sense especially if he drops the tnt to sammy cody would blow up everything like just that he was there not like he's gonna ruin it but like imagine <laughs> like everybody what <laughs> he is a free agent technically that would be nuts like, he's obviously A.W. staying there. We all know that. Blah, blah, blah. But that would be fucking insane. Insane. <laughs> but, like, 
Would WWE ever go for that? No! <laughs> hey, here's this little pissant company. Their words, not mine. Ugh. <laughs> like, that we shit on. And then, oh, we're going to put NXT against them on the same night to crush them. And then NXT does bad, quote unquote. Oh, they didn't get better ratings. So we're going to fuck our own selves and destroy NXT and make it what we want. But fuck AEW. <laughs> He did say he invented the open door, the forbidden door. That's true. Why would he say that? Why would he say that? <laughs> oh. Man. I'm just trying to imagine the chaos that would ensue online <laughs> if this were to happen. Oh. He would get healed over for that. True. Yeah, he would get booed way more than he does now. Because he went to the Fed and then came back. He went for the payday. He went for the check. Wow. Or returning a hero. I think it would depend on his performance. Like, if it's just a kind of like he was there, got tossed kind of thing. Eh, like that's more you did it for the paycheck and like if he went and won it once again what the fuck are we even talking about <laughs> then he'd be returning a hero like does he okay does he win it and say nah fuck you i'm not cashing in this opportunity <laughs> so the royal rumble's useless this year Oh, this, no, this is just, we're getting way, way out, <laughs> way out of here with <laughs> these ideas. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just hope for some excitement with, uh, what did I say, 22? With whoever these eight people are, don't be a waste. Is there any way Vince lets an outsider win? That's another big one. Like, the, the thing is, like, Reaching out to do these deals is baffling enough. There has to be something in it for WWE. Is it just to like spark attention again? Like, are they finally feeling the heat of the ratings? And like, you know, fucking... That, that's why they're reaching out? Because like, there has to be some winning factor for Vince to want to A, bring people in, and then B, if it is going that far to let an outsider win, like, what's the payoff that makes business sense for WWE? That protects Lesnar and saves Reigns for Rock. True. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Big yikes. Um, so yeah, hopefully these whoever these eight people are that are mysteries, hopefully they make sense, or hopefully they're not just a waste. It's not Veer after him coming for eight weeks or ten months or whatever it is now to Raw. Don't want it to be Veer. That would be dumb. We don't need... Sorry, we don't need Tozawa in there. We don't need fucking... Uh, what's his name? Reginald, Reggie, no. Put some people in there that actually we care about, can do stuff. Not that they can't do stuff, but like have some kind of credibility to them. A uh, Cesaro, Cena, I wouldn't like. Cena does make sense in a way. All the speculation does get people to watch. That's a hundred percent true. Um, like I like the Viking Raiders, but I feel like that would kind of be a waste. No offense to gable and otis and street profits here but i kind of feel the same way um so yeah our truth yeah these people like they're good and they're good at what they do but like i want something interesting for these eight spots because looking at the current <clears throat> confirmed number here 
it's not super exciting. And that's not on the talent themselves. It's on how things are done. Like, I can see potentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight believable people that could win. Like, I would be like, yep, that makes sense. That's AJ, Kevin Owens, Dolph. Did I count Dolph? Wait, one, two. I didn't count Dolph, sorry. Orton, Riddle, E, Priest, Sheamus, Kofi. Those are my believables. Dolph is like close-ish, but I don't know. He's kind of gone down the hill. My pick, and this one will be definitive. I'm gonna st- I said it earlier, but I'm going to stick with E. I want E to win. E to win. This sets up for Brock down the line without going through all these hoops and mannerisms. Saves reigns for Rock. Can go from there. Uh, yeah. Do we get the Rock returning at the Rumble? Yeah. I... I doubt it. I don't know what deal he just signed with UFC. So there's that. And then also, that, excuse me again, that would make more sense if Reigns was like laying it on thick that he is the best of the family, better than anyone else in the Samoan lineage, et cetera, et cetera. Like if he was doing this shit talking, That would kind of give motivation for The Rock to appear at the Rumble to get this chance to then just whoop ass. But then again, he's The Rock. Does he need to prove himself and get the chance to get this? No. He could just show up any given Tuesday or any given Friday, rather, and just be like, I'm Dwayne Johnson. I want a title shot. (laughs) You know? Like, there's that. Yeah, they have always said it. Um, I feel like Reigns, in a if we're we laid it on more thick early on, right, to establish that the head of the table, the whole heel gimmick, you know, we had to do it there. I feel like Reigns has to get back to that. Right now, he's kind of more like not a benevolent king, but like the laid back king. Obviously, he's sending the Usos to do stuff, which, okay, that's a plus. You're getting your lackeys to do stuff. But he seems more nonchalant. He needs to get back, and maybe with Paul out of the way, he can be more aggressive and in-your-face about stuff in his promos. Maybe with him doing that, that would trigger a Dwayne coming in and being like, oh, hold on now. Uh Uh-uh, no. Um because so far it's been like (sighs) small talk that doesn't even sound right it hasn't he it's been small stuff but now it can be bigger stuff that carries more weight to it instead of someone talking for him per se or him just casually saying it um, I don't know. I don't know what he could do with the Usos specifically. I'm just saying, like, him using the Usos as lackeys is definitely a right step in the heel direction for him. Of just, like, that's what bad guys would do. Hey, go do my things for me. Or cheat. Or whatever. And, uh, he'll take advantage of that. I don't know how they would get Rock involved. Like, what the Usos would do to do that. But... Just my thought. So, yep, that is the Royal Rumble. Like I said, as of recording, it's this Saturday. If you're watching this live on Friday or listening to it on Friday, it's tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoy the Royal Rumble. Hopefully you get some fun surprises in the men's and women's Rumble on Saturday. And uh, we can see the internet freak out (laughs) for a little bit. Um, But let me know. 
who your thoughts and predictions are and who's going to win this whole thing. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'm very excited to watch it on Saturday and have some fun. Uh, just being surprised. Being surprised. 